Hi hey folks, well I have some rabbits for meat reasons and one of the mamas had some babies and they were doing really really well, had six babies and I go out this morning to feed them and there's four of them that were um, curled up and died and this one here, every one of them had, had blood right about this area and I kind of wasn't too sure so I investigate a little further and there's two holes that are in the side of it and then as I look up I see a weasel up amongst the boards so what end up happening is a weasel sucked the blood out of them and then they died and I have one that's living without the holes in the side of the neck that has not been touched by the weasel and then I have this one here that I'm pretty sure I, I disturbed it and interfered and is why the reason why it's still alive. So hopefully this little fella is going to still live. It's weak, definitely weak, but these two little holes. So if any of you out there have rabbits and you're unfamiliar with maybe what's happening and you are out in the country somewhere and there's weasels around, you might want to safeguard it because the weasels are going to get to your baby bunnies. You can see the marks. They're hard to see. I lift up this little fella's ear here. You can see them, eh? There's one here and there's one over here. So hopefully this little fella can build up some blood and um, stay alive. The other one's doing quite well. So we brought him inside where it's really, really warm and in a protected area. So we'll hope for the best, see what happens. But the important part is, folks, is the weasels are going to get your baby bunnies if you don't know that. And you already haven't had the experience. Especially, I would say, more so in the winter months because there's less food out there for them weasels to eat so they basically go where they can to get that easy food and in my case it was my rabbit house well thank you for watching subscribe if you have not and thank you very much for those that have